What is a T1 line? In principle, a T1 line is just a direct connection between two locations. As simple as it sounds, there's a lot of science behind that sentence, which I shall try to explain in this tutorial. The T1 is based on the old telephony technology, which was developed in the 1960s. Its original intention was to carry 24 pulse code modulated speech signal streams, each at 64 kilobits per second. Right now, I know exactly what you're thinking. I thought the same. Guys, bear with me because as the video goes on, this will make a lot of sense and it's the foundation of digital communications. And by the end of this video, you will understand exactly what all this means. A T1 is a very reliable connection with a maximum signaling speed of 1.544 megabits per second. A T1 is also known as a DS1. It can carry both voice and data. A good example of its usage is many mobile carriers commonly use T1 lines to connect base stations to transmit data back to the mobile switching center or MSC, which is also known as a telephone exchange. Pulse code modulation or PCM is used to digitize a voice conversation and to insert it on a T1 line. The PCM process takes samples from the analog voice signal, which in this diagram is the red sine wave. A sample is defined as a measurement of a level of the analog signal, and the samples here are represented by the yellow vertical lines. With this example, we can verify that the quantized values at the sampling moments, which are indicated with the blue dots. Let's just write up our binary table. So the first sample is 8, which has the binary value of 1000. The next sample is 9, with a binary value of 1001. And the next sample is 11, which has a binary value of 1011, and so on. I'm not going to do them all, as I'm sure you get the idea. These 8-bit binary values provide 256 different levels of the analog signal. Remember, this is done 8,000 times per second. The analog spectrum is mapped using the G711MU law algorithm. Once digitized, these 8-bit binaries are then transmitted at a rate of 64 kilobits per second, which is called a DS0, which means digital signal zero. If we multiplex 24 DS zeros, it becomes a DS1 which is referred to as a T1 line. The binary data is then transmitted using time division multiplexing, or TDM, into a single stream. This is also known as a time slot or time slice. So that the receiving end knows the beginning of each stream, a framing bit is added to the sequence. We now have a complete frame. And if we do the math, we have 8 bit multiplied by the 24 channels plus the framing bit equals 193 bit multiplied by 8000 which is the amount of samples taken each second gives us a total of 1,544,000 which in technical terms is written as 1.544 megabits per second The receiver must be able to detect the framing bit in order to synchronize. The bit framing pattern sequence is calculated to have a low probability of reoccurring and therefore a low probability of being mistaken in a data payload. I hope this video has been informative for you and thanks for watching.